Hello everyone and welcome to American Truck Simulator's Rebalder. <coughs> Coming at you from Tampa, Florida. I just grabbed a burger and uh, I'm gonna go down here and pick up a job. And pull right out and uh, stop. Stop. I got work, man. I put my first driver in my, my Orlando garage. I gave him my Peterbilt I was driving and I got me this Kenworth. 600 horsepower, uh, 2050 torque, 18 speed tranny. Got the Seagull wides on both the back axles. I'd like to see more of those wide wheels. Right now it's only the Seagull. And the Kenworth pulp covers. That's it. Can't find any customs that'll work or that I haven't already used. And I do like my Kenworth. What are we getting here and where are we going? Well, it's a cable reel. 66,000 pounds. That qualifies as heavy cargo. Articulated trailer, those are uh, those are fun. Yeah, important delivery. Yeah, I don't have the flags and the sign, but you make me waste time going to get that stuff instead of just being able to put it on from my truck. So I'd like to see that revamp where you could just you know, like hooking up the cables, you just click on it and it's installed like it's you're carrying it in the truck which you would do. I have to go to the truck stop. 66,000 pound cable reel. Ooh, well it's not that's not a real long trip. I haven't made this trip before, so let's let's see what it takes. Got to get this thing out of here. There ain't no backing up those articulators, at least for me, I'll tell you that. I did drive one in straight into a parking space and I had to back it up a couple times and I did manage to get it in there. But it was not easy. I got the upgraded interior here. Oops. Turned too soon. Got to go wider than that. Look how long this thing is, man. It's a good freaking train. <laughs> this guy's going to get it. Your stupid AI is going to get it, man. I got no sympathy for your stupid AI trying to jam me up. And then he goes forward. I hope the trailer takes him out. Yep, I got him. <laughs> One of the trailer got him. Oh, I hope that wasn't trailer damage, man. I need both lanes, Land Rover. Why you give us so many Land Rovers, man? It's more American cars. I only got the 220 tanks on this, so. But we're not going that far. This is not a high paying job, even high value. Like I said, this coast to coast has nerfed all the pays and the XP points. It's awful.
Look how wide these guys turn. Drivers don't do that in normal vehicles. They cut the inside of the corner. They're driving like truck drivers, heavy AI. Here's where you need that 2050 torque and 18 gears. And I turn the dash. Kenworth has a wider view. And I turn the dash GPS off. Let me over, man. Let me over. And I just use the route advisor. It's bigger and better. But I could use it and still see it. It wouldn't be behind the route advisor in this case. It's like the mod trucks have it up on the windshield and you can use both. You have one set on normal like this and the other one set on long, longer view. So you can see what's coming further ahead. Now first thing I'm going to have to do is get... Yeah, oh, they're going to let me bypass. Why do they do that? That's nice. Oh, the next one will get me. Maybe because it was weighed in this state and they... Uh, you know, registered with them. You go to another state, you have to pull in. Probably, we'll see. I don't know what the game does. Sometimes I get a lucky pass. I don't know that I get... No, I don't get a free pass whenever it's heavy cargo. And this pulled it no problem once we got on the on-ramp. We're, we're up to highway speed and going. So we're in Tampa, Florida, or headed up the East Coast. Let's see how the map looks. I haven't uh, run this route. Oh, yeah, I did. I went up to Wilmington, now North Carolina. North, yeah, it was north. Highway 4. Let's see if we can get to 75. Got to escalate right on my left. So the scenery looks good. See, there's a Sonny's Barbecue. Told you that's one of the things about the Coast to Coast mod. They have real, real signs. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I get a bigger view top to bottom and left to right in the Kenworth. I'm liking it. It's half a day just to get out of Florida. Such a long stay. So this is all done by them. I mean, Florida isn't in the stock game. Uh, this looks uh, just as good as any part of the uh, four states that SCS did. Why would you break, Camaro? These two are conspiring AI to uh, screw me up, slow me down, get me off my game. I don't need that. No Camaro drives that slow. Ask a Camaro driver. And now the Cadillac's going to flash his brakes and do something stupid. I had to wipe him out. Oh, okay. I'll take, I'll take their stupid drivers out if there's too much nonsense. I hope I didn't hurt the trailer, man. Even 1% <coughs> cost you thousands of dollars. It's ridiculous. They don't make anything on these coast-to-coast uh, -coast drives anyways. <coughs> in this mod. It's the worst thing about it. I think I've made that clear.
Nice wide freeway, no guardrails. No traffic, except for those two dodos. They're gone. They put a lot of work into this road and scenery. I find they have a lot of this back and forth, left and right, left and right. Uh, I don't know why they did that. I don't know if they did the, took the geographical topography of this area. <clears throat> I went all the way down to Key West. I opened up every city except Yeehaw Junction in Florida. Does that even exist? I don't know. So am I at the top of Florida already? I gotta catch a loop de loop. And you got these are very slow. These guys there. Loop de loops and off ramps are like 30, 40 miles an hour. <coughs> Stay to the outside because your trailer's gonna uh, pivot and go off the road on the right side. I wonder if this is the top of Florida. It's as far as the road goes. See how slow you got to go? I'm having trouble making it at 30. See the trailers over the white line. I'm over the white line on the left. These are a pain, but these are supposed to pay. These have a cargo that you're supposed to pay. 100000 120000 150000 Not in... Uh, coast to coast map mod that's gone tough luck buddy so don't install this until you've made a lot of levels and money I don't know if they have a site or anything I can contact them and I'll report that if it's been reported I don't know how they would take that you know <coughs> Some people, are, uh, no, nobody likes criticism, I understand that, but with games, it's uh, especially as they're being developed, you want feedback, right? I got a couple spots where I've run into invisible walls and came to a dead stop from 70 miles an hour. Not good. And uh, it didn't damage the truck, it damaged the crap out of the trailer, though. And I lost a lot of money at the end. I don't know why I went head on into something, didn't hurt the truck. And you know, hurt the trailer badly. Okay, Palm Coast. I don't know if that's a real city in Florida either. They have Fort Lauderdale, Miami, Key West. I drove down there from Miami to Key West. That's pretty cool. They used the docks from Oakland there in Key West and uh, some of the other Key West and San Francisco scenery. I've been everywhere in the stock games for maps so I recognize some of the buildings that are obvious in uh, other places. I've bopped around all over this full uh, country map and <coughs> opened up a lot of cities and had, did a lot of driving around, looking around and stuff. So I could have jobs to there, you know. Or see if I wanted to put a garage there. That took forever to get back up to 75. That's too late to get there. That's going to be too dark for my liking. For 500 miles? 10 hours? Oh, that's figuring at 50 average. If we don't hit any slowdowns, two lanes and small towns and stuff, we can take some time off that ETA. 
I like to see it around nine at the the latest. did a lot of those before I installed this uh, coast to coast map mod I, I did a lot of those 1200 1400 miles back and forth across the map after I'd opened all the cities and I wanted to make money well I had money I wanted to make levels so those are like 3300 uh, XP man but in this uh, coast to coast, man, you, dr you can drive, drive 2,200 miles on one run and it didn't even make a thousand XP. It was ridiculous. The pay was crap too, but I don't care as much about that. That makes me feel like, yeah, why should I do it, you know? If, and if I was trying to come up, I didn't have levels. Because levels unlock engines and transmissions and the, the custom paint jobs and, you know, that's what you're working for. Uh, they don't give you nothing towards that. If you didn't know and you just started this game and you plopped this in here, you'd be like, damn, man. This is going to take forever to get to level 30. And I'm 43, working out 44. I should have been there now, but I put this map mod in and it doesn't, don't give me anything. It's like half or less reward for effort. That's not cool. That's not cool, man. People are in Yeah. I must be in Georgia. Well, at least they give you more notice than the stock game seems to. That's that's about double the notice, which is good. I, I wanted that. The other thing they cut in half was the XP for uh, free roaming. They cut that to 40. It was only 80. I mean, that's not like going to bump you up a level, man. It's nothing. You need thousands. Alright, that costs us time to get going again. I don't totally block me and let me out because you got no merge lane here. Thank you. Something else we need. A decent long merge lane. Well, there's Florida f flag, so that's the border. Here comes Georgia. River or lake, I don't know what it is. Is that what divides Georgia and Florida? And this is all uh, well scenery and done. You got billboards and buildings. It's good, it's good. Doesn't look like uphill, but it can't uh, can't get into 18th gear or pick up any more speed. Of course, you're towing 66,000 pounds. Finally, 75. 
Oh, we lost it. This does a lot better than the 13 speed on inclines. You'd be down around 66 on these little climbs. This is maximum in the stats. Max engine, max transmission. I don't know what those last few transmissions for are at the bottom. Like a 6 speed and a 7 speed and a 10 speed. I don't. They ruin your stats if you put them in and you look at the right side where it says, you know, maneuverability and hills traversal and heavy cargo. It makes normal cargo better, but... I'll, I'll suffer the <laughs> a little loss with normal cargo. I'm usually hauling heavy stuff or medium to heavy stuff. I did a lot of heavy cargo, made a lot of money in levels. I'm, I haven't been doing it anymore. So now I have 25 drivers plus me. 26. Miles are going down fast. The scenery here looks really good. Really getting that Georgia feeling. Oh, we just went through Georgia that quick. South Carolina, 313 miles to go. Now this is just suddenly got barren. No trees, no guardrails, no signs, no buildings. This is what uh, going up the East Coast, it, from my experience, looks like. And the middle of America and, uh, to the north. The south is pretty well done, and over to Florida, and up through Georgia, but not the northeast or the middle, or even the northwest, except for Seattle is there. Seattle is really well done. But you get outside of Seattle, and it, it's, there's nothing, not even trees like this. They got some work to do. Well, you can drive through Hornbrook, California and go up through Oregon to uh, through Eugene and up to uh, Portland and then on up to um, uh, Seattle and there's Spokane, Spokane, however they say it. But those top of the country states across from there going east are 
awful plain roads like this and a lot of errors and <coughs> missing holes in the map. And some of the cities are just, there's nothing to them. Just the jobs for the game and a, a gas station. You know. okay, you get the, the other end of the map, Salt Lake City. I did a video from there. That's really, that's well done. Where I went to, I forget, but you could look it up and watch it. I've been flying around with the dev camp opening up major cities and looking at the jobs there and looking at the detail of the scenery in the city. And that's what I found, uh, the north, middle, and uh, east. Uh, northeast is not, not well done yet, with a few exceptions. This is nothing, not a mile marker, not a billboard for Hardee's, not a guardrail, not a farm, factory, shed, building, fence, cows, nothing. I went to uh, Wilmington, North Carolina, and uh, it was weird because they used the scenery from Las Vegas. I know, you could recognize it. The Mandalay Bay underpass that you drive under and the, the ram statues on the freeway and everything. I mean, you can see the docks from San Francisco in uh, uh, Seattle. There's things like that you recognize from here to there. They didn't like make any new buildings, they just used, you know, what they have. In some cities, you, <coughs> you can't even drive into, it's just in the background, you know what I mean? Like, over the hill. There's no road to get there. You can see the buildings, but you can't like drive downtown. You just drive by. They're like in the distance, over a hill, behind a hill. Two hundred miles to go. Are we going to see anything in the, the Carolinas? They don't have no trees. All right, hold on. I'm going to go check the map. Why do my why does it, my red line start there in Georgia? Does it cut off the bottom end of it? I'm not getting all my miles. What? I'm almost there. Raleigh. We'll go through Fayetteville. Yeah, I had been to here to Wilmington. I guess I opened up Fayetteville one way or the other. I don't think I've been to Raleigh though. All right, well, we got a couple hundred miles. It'll be a couple minutes. We'll be there, 197, four hours. That looks nice, huh? The deep red and the white stripes. That's a striped paint job that you can change the colors of it. I mean, they put the stripes on there for you. And it's, I think it's black and red. Let's change the black to a deep red. And there's a gray or tan interior. I got the tan, comes with burlwood. 
and uh, the premium Kenworth wheel. Coasting. Coasting. All that weight behind us. <laughs> the slightest decline. Uh oh, here we go. Down to one lane. Here comes my uh, road. Oh, it's the plane crash. This is the best one. Last time I seen this was outside Las Vegas. You see that? That's pretty cool. A little Cessna crashed on the freeway. Random road occurrence. I always seem to get those near the end of a job. Oh, now we get some trees. We get near Raleigh and we get some trees. Okay, and a sign. So they put a little bit of attention into this. Let's see what Raleigh looks like. I hate this guardrail right on the yellow, damn yellow line. That's pretty bland there for a while. See what a difference it makes? He just throw a guardrail and some trees and a, a sign, maybe a maybe I have a farm or something to a building, some houses, I don't know. Welcome to North Carolina. Here we come, Raleigh. All the way from Tampa, just for you. Big reel, cable reel. Raleigh and Richmond. They don't have Richmond, do they?
guy doing? They break uh, for everything when they're going to get it way before where they get off, just before they get off. I mean, they slow way down, like to take an exit or even going uphill. They'll hit the brakes. See, he changed lanes, he hit the brakes. Uh, those hills don't look too good right there, but... Slowing down on a downhill? <coughs> How do you do that? I didn't see brake lights. Quit messing with me, game. <laughs> he just said that California just surpassed England's uh, size of the economy. <laughs> the fifth largest economy in the world is California. <laughs> and it's run by blank tards, he said. And 50% of the people are on welfare. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we got our problems. But not here. Clean delivery. I hope that idiot did not uh, damage my trailer. And we're back to the standard blank nothing scenery. See that? See what I'm talking about? A lot of uh, <laughs> the middle of the country is like this. Over those hills is nothing. If you fly around with a dev cam, it'd just be a strip of ground with the road, and that's the other side of that hill is nothing, no map. You know. Raleigh, what's it look like? Look good. Probably get some love when they were making this. It's not horrible. Everybody's got that crappy hotel. I've seen this layout before. Ooh, ooh. Two percent. To the cab? No worries. See when I went through that? He came flying out of nowhere, man. Yeah, I've seen this layout before. Oh well, they, <laughs> they do all the cities in 50 states are going to get some things look alike. They only have so much uh, buildings and uh, scenery to use. Come on, man, it's getting dark. At least they give you a little run down the street. I hate those, you know, where the cube is right there at the entrance and these long trailers are sticking out down the road. 
and then you line up with the cube in the middle but you got a cramped place to park it you know yeah this is uh, you got it proceeding Got it. How's that? This looks just like the place I came from. Drop it. Let's go. Beer 30. How many miles did it say it was? That's crap. Pay first. Even for a, a, a small mileage run, it should be a, a lot like double ec that XP and double the pay. They're gonna take forever to get to levels of this mod. Damn. I thought it was 700 and some miles. Whatever. We made it. I like this Kenworth. Okay, Tampa to Raleigh, you've seen it. I'm out for the day. Adios.